Welcome back. We've reached the final day of NSAA State Football with three Siouxland teams vying for hardware in classes C1 and C2. We kick off a thrilling day in Lincoln with an all Siouxland rematch of 2021 state runner-up Norfolk Catholic and Cedar Catholic for the C2 crown. The unbeaten Knights aiming for state title, title number 11 in 19 championship games. Both state records under the winningest coach in NSAA history, Jeff Beller. Trojans making their first appearance in eight years, pursuing the program's first ever title. Fireworks off the bat on the opening kickoff. Alex Kuhn returning the ball, pops free. John Clausen falls on it, and just like that, Norfolk Catholic is in the red zone. They don't capitalize, but Max Hammond aiming to get them on the board from 29 yards out, and it's a good night strike first, 3-0. After a Trojans punt, Knights go back to work. Canyon Tolton rumbles in for the three-yard touchdown. Two drives, two scores for Norfolk Catholic. They lead 9-zip. Ground game dominating in the second quarter. Carter Kirkman finds a hole. He hits Pater on the extension. Three-yard touchdown. Norfolk Catholic in full control up 16-0 at the half. Third quarter, Cedar Catholic needing a spark. Braden Riefenrath pushed in the pocket. He tucks it in and goes 18 yards for the Trojans' biggest gain of the day so far. They stall out, though. The Knights' defense did not lose their luster in the fourth. Iowa commit Cade Piper breaks through for the sack on fourth down, one of his pair on the day. And the rushing attack delivered the final blow. Ensuing drive, Brandon Collars trots in for an eight-yard touchdown. 238 rushing yards on the day for Norfolk Catholic. The Knights shut out Cedar Catholic for the C2 state title crown, 23 to nothing, claiming their second title in three years and an 11th for Jeff Beller, a generational coach in another historic chapter of Knights football. It's everyone involved, not just Coach Beller, it's other coaches, it's athletes, it's families, allow their kids to be coached. You know, some people might not think, oh, coach is a little hard on this guy. That My wife tells me that way too much. But it's more about kids allowing that to happen to try to get the best version of themselves. I think it's pretty special for our team. As when we were younger, we watched a lot of 13-year-old teams. It's pretty special to come out as one of them. It's awesome because our coaches were talking about yesterday of how this is our chapter, and it's important for us to have our own chapter and that we just got it done, and that's what we were pushing since we were young. These kids were very resilient through the course of the year. You know, we battled a lot of injuries, position changes, you know, and we continued to work every day to get better. And you know, the the hard work, that, you know, that started you know long ago, years ago, really paid off. You know, just to get the opportunity to be here. When I first walked on the field, um, there was just this big echo, and I'm like, okay, this is this is surreal. So like. I don't know, just being here in this atmosphere is just crazy. Um, and I'm thankful for it each and every day. 